What's up guys, I'm on Arts here and I'm going to be doing a third episode of Tips and Tricks and this is on how to do motion blur in Cinema 4D and I want to apologize, I'm a bit sick so my voice might be a bit off, I might be coughing a little bit but whatever <coughs> so open up Cinema 4D and we'll do some render settings even though you probably know how to do that but just in case <coughs> you want to click on this button right here First, for your output, you're going to want 1280 by 720 frame range, all frames, because it's an animation. Save it as a QuickTime movie and click the three dots to give it a name and choose where to save it. And um, for effect, the only effect we're going to be using is object mo motion blur. So, it's really simple how to do this. Uh, let's just say you have text, and let's just have it M A, which stands for Modern Arts, obviously. And let me just find a decent font that's kind of cool. So I guess I'll just do some re regular te um, text settings for you guys. So depth, I like a hundred for caps. I like a start fillet cap, an end fillet cap. I'm going to put the radius down to, sometimes it goes to zero, I don't know why. I'm going to put it down to four. four. Oh, this is really annoying. There we go. So it's four, and um, that's just pretty simple. I'm not even going to add material, because I just want this to be quick of how to do motion blur. So, um, let's do a keyframe here, and let's say... 35 frames later about have a keyframe here so go back to your first key and how to do a keyframe you just where you want the keyframe to be you drag this little green marker on the timeline and then click right here on the red keyframe button and that will set a keyframe so just go back to the beginning of your project rotate it and zoom out a little bit so you have a better view so go to frame zero and you could just have the text move forward so drag that little blue arrow so it goes forward and click on the rotator and have it rotate in some cool way. I mean, this isn't very good. This is just playing around. So just so you guys get the idea, I wouldn't actually make an intro like this. But just how to use motion blur. I'm getting there. So let's just put a camera. Or we don't have a camera. But put the view back where it was. Center it. So now you can see an animation. It's not very cool. I know, but I just want to do something that will have like the motion blur effect on it. So then you're going to click on your text object, you're going to right click Cinema 4D Tags and Motion Blur and keep the strength on 100%, at least that's what I've been doing. So let's um, make this so it's 35 frames. Let's take a quick look. And let's just render this out because it should be a really quick render huh. and this will be pretty quick this is already on frame 20 and hopefully I'll be able to show it to you guys so you know uh, so you see the idea um, just save this as because I forgot to do it before save this as a quick time movie on my desktop motion blur and now let's find that all right so let's see if it works yep you can kinda see that like right there you can see some motion blur and especially when you have like a um, MoGraph experiments like my falling sphere video um, motion blur really helps making it look more realistic and cooler. So yeah, that's pretty much the third episode of tips and tricks on um how to do some motion blur in Cinema 4D, and it's a helpful, uh, helpful effect to make things look better. So thanks for watching, guys, and please subscribe.